problem is we don't live in an ideal world. And all of the beauty we just explored is in danger. When water temperatures rise just a small amount, and those temperatures are sustained for weeks, both corals and the zooxanthellae really stress out. And living in sustained stress cause the algae to produce too much oxygen, which becomes toxic to the coral. So if you were a coral and being poisoned by something inside of you, what would you do? You would probably do what this coral polyp is doing, spitting out its zooxanthellae. This coral is protecting itself from being poisoned, essentially, but that leaves it with another problem starvation. And without the zooxanthellae, the corals fade or lose their color completely. And this is what we call coral bleaching. And this is a term you might have heard before. And we call it bleaching because without the zooks, you can see through the clear polyp to the white skeleton. And sustained bleaching causes corals and whole reef ecosystems to degrade. And since 1950, the world has lost about half of its shallow water coral reefs 